A really important part of calculus is solving optimization problems. So I want to explain to you what that is first. Uh, let's take a look at a graph of a function, y equals f of x. And here I pointed out some, uh, some important key points on the, on the graph. But notice that my graph sort of terminates on the left endpoint A and the right endpoint B. This is a function that's defined over a closed bounded interval, AB. What that means is, closed means that it, the, it contains its endpoints. The function is going to be defined at each endpoint. And bounded means that it's got a limited length. So this is a function defined over a closed bounded interval. All such functions, if they're continuous, are going to achieve an absolute maximum value Right? That's our highest point on the graph, and an absolute minimum value somewhere. And the key is, where do they achieve these values? They achieve the values either at an endpoint or at a critical point. An optimization problem is all about finding absolute maxima and minima. And in this first method that we study, called the closed interval method, we are going to look at endpoints and critical points. These are the only places that you, can f that you need to look when you're looking for an absolute max or min for a function over a closed bounded interval. So here's the closed interval method um, all spelled out. Suppose f is a continuous function on some closed bounded interval a, b. Find the critical points. That's the first step. Find all the critical points for the function f on that interval. Second, evaluate f at the endpoints and at all the critical points. The largest of these values is going to be the absolute maximum and the smallest will be the absolute minimum. And that's it. It's a three-step process. It's very easy to use. And this is what we're going to use in our first few problems of optimization.